What's up, YouTube? And this first clip you're seeing right there is actually me skating a Jersey barrier in and around the area that I live in. Um, now, it's a very small place, and that's going to actually coincide with what this first vlog is going to be about, and that's creating a skate spot in a small area. Now, a lot of you are like me, and you uh, really, you live around not many things that you can skate, but that shouldn't stop you because I'm up here to show you exactly what you can do to fix that. Okay, so the first set of skate spots that I'd like to talk about today are ledges. Now, these are going to be the most reoccurring in our areas, especially mine. Um, whether it's concrete, marble, some have metal edging, they can all be used, um, but you're going to need certain tools for certain ledges. Um, if you don't have certain tools, then you can actually use a ledge without grinding it at all. Like this piece of wood I used right here. Personally, I've been working on a ledge that I'm about to show you guys right now nightly. Um, it's a long ledge, and uh, there's a stair set up in between, and then there's an, another ledge that kind of goes off to a drop, which is going to be pretty awesome. Um, the steps in between, I'd like to actually kind of wax up like a level of uh, steps. You can kind of maybe do a couple of tricks up. Now, the stair set itself can be skated too, but it, it's, it's huge. You know, um, I've I've tried gapping it one time in my life and kind of just skidded out and ended up with bruised heels. I know a skateboarder that really kind of ruined his career on it. It's a pretty big stair set. Um, so really, with their new revamp and the new rebuilding of this stair set, though, they created a pretty sick skate spot at the bottom. And I'm going to show it to you right here. Now, the reason why I choose to wax at night is because people really see it as vandalizing or they really don't know what you're doing. So you're going to want to do it quick. And uh, I even had people looking at me like, what the hell is this kid doing? Um, but I just want to get a nice coat of wax on there just so I can roll up to it during the daytime and just skate it with a couple of friends. There's the stairs in the middle. And if you look off to the left-hand side, you see that taller ledge that I was talking about. So it'll make a nice line in between. Now, not all of your ledges that you guys find or... Pretty much any of the ledges that you guys find are going to be marble like this one. Um, this is just kind of the perfect situation, so I just wanted to use this for waxing and then uh, I'll ultimately make an edit at the end of this with a couple of grinds and just using the skate spot once I'm done with it. What you'll find is more often than not, you're going to have a ledge that's just that rough concrete. Um, some wax on it's going to do the trick, uh, but if you want something that's really going to be unmatched, uh, what you're going to want to invest in and what you've probably seen in some skate videos here and there or if you have some friends that are really really into skating and have been around for a while is a masonry brick and what that looks like is this right here <laughs> like you guys saw it looks like a scrub with a rock on the bottom of it now you can find those at home depot walmart lowe's really hard any hardware store um for the most part, you're going to be able to find them around. Um, some of them aren't too cheap, but for the most part, it's not going to break the bank. And, you know, the amount of skate spots that you'll be able to, to make with one masonry brick or really just on the road, if you have it in your backpack, you guys are street skating, masonry brick something out, you know, for a line. Um, it makes a really cool clip because if, especially if people are familiar with the skate spots that you're skating, you can kind of think outside the box and go, wow, so no one's grinded that over there before because it's jagged rock. But if you, you know, you masonry brick it down a little bit, it makes it smooth. And then you have that last part of the line that really makes you stand out. Um, and you're skating unique because that's really what we like to see nowadays. Um, if you've seen it all, then you want to see something crazy. Okay, so there you have it. I uh, pretty much went from, you know, ha having a ledge that 
was made of some of the best material that a ledge could be made out of for skating. But it, it didn't slide before I, uh, I waxed it. And uh, it's not really just one coat of wax that's going to do the trick, what you're going to see. And you probably saw me uh, rubbing my skate across the ledge. And you'll see that from time to time because what you're going to want to do is actually pressure, like heat that wax into the ledge. Now the sun's going to do it over time, but uh, just test it out. Even if you've been waxing it for a little while, uh, test it out before you just go full speed and jump into it because you'll sometimes, you know, even with a lot of wax, it's like, it's kind of like quicksand on, on the ledge. If it's not really pressed in, you're just going to kind of sink in and stick. Um, the first line that I, I hit on that, uh, that ledge, um, I just kept sliding though. And I almost took out that pillar. It actually looks like in the video that I touched the pillar, but I just somehow just like <laughs> maneuvered my arms away from it. Um, now, ledges, for the most part, are going to be your most tended to uh, street skating obstacle. Now, if you have any rails anywhere or anything else like that, um, it's going to take less wax, usually, if they're not all gouged up. Um, or even more often than not, you're not even going to need wax for some of them if they're painted. And then a stair set, I mean, a stair set, you could add more to it. I guess, um, but really just a stair set, spinning down a stair set, I mean, it, whether it's a three stair, five stair, you know, it doesn't really matter nowadays. I think that, again, we're in a point where skating is really just kind of taking its own turn into being whatever you want it to be. So, I mean, if you want to do 720s over a three stair. I mean, I bet you people are gonna still think it's pretty sweet. I know that sounds pretty funny, but thrown into a line, you know, it, it looks pretty awesome. Um, all in all, uh, I'm sorry if this uh, first vlog was a little all over the place, but it was fun just kind of doing a, a, a recap and showing you guys exactly what I'm doing to tend to a street skating spot, if that, you know, it's not much, but. Um, it's good to be particular about your certain uh, street skating spots because you'll keep them nice and uh, you'll keep it so other people don't come in and misuse them, hopefully. Uh, I hope you guys uh, like, share, and subscribe. This is Blade Vault and this is Joel Gardner through Blade Vault and uh, I uh, had a great time um, showing you guys. Oh, there's uh, protesters out. But uh, I had a great time with you guys and again, uh, my next video will be a uh, just a park edit because I was a, uh, a park rat my whole life so I figured I'm just gonna go to a bunch of skate parks and I have 25 different skate parks around me so why not use them for one big edit um, I hope to see you guys soon and uh, thank you for watching have a great night